Welcome back to the channel, Den members. This week's video is another gun review. This time we are reviewing this behemoth, the Ruger Precision 300 Win Mag. Now to be clear, Ruger makes this rifle in a number of calibers, and instead of trying to remember them all for one take, I'm going to list them all right here. However, this precision rifle is chambered in 300 Win Mag. Now, this is not my rifle. This has been given to me very generously on loan by Logan. These rifles from the store without a scope, without a bipod, without any accessories, run anywhere from $2,000 to $2,500. Logan, thank you so much for your patience and we'll be getting this back to you here very soon. Now, I was one of the first people Logan told when he first bought this rifle. And I'm always genuinely curious to see what the motivation is behind someone's purchase of a firearm. The beautiful thing about the United States is you really don't have to have a reason to buy a gun. You can just buy one if you want one. Novel concept. I would be lying if I wasn't slightly amused with Logan's reasoning. He said he bought this rifle because it is sexy as hell. Let's be fair, I've done the same thing with several of my own purchases, but I personally think it was the uh, the tank break that did it for Logan. I was really excited to get my hands on this for an extended period of time to put a lot of rounds down range with it. I have had a lot of fun shooting this and getting to learn the Ruger Precision Rifle. Now let's get into this, but to show that we're responsible gun owners, clear. I think the best way to go about this is the generally accepted method of going muzzle to butt stock. The barrel of the Ruger Precision Rifle is a 26 inch cold hammer forged chromoly barrel. The 300 Win Mag model has a rifling of one to nine. On the end here, you will see one of the more predominant features of this rifle, a tunable muzzle brake tank brake. It is worth noting that the tank brake can be removed to expose the threaded barrel, but we like the tank brake as is. Moving down, you have an 18 inch aluminum handguard that has slots for M-Lock. So it is M-Lock compatible if you wanted to accessorize this rifle. If you wanted it to be even heavier than the stock 15 pounds, there are holes cut out of the front of the right and the left of the handguard to except a quick disconnect for a sling. The other end has a quick disconnect in the buttstock on both the right and the left. Again, being a 15 pound rifle without a scope, unloaded, without any other equipment on it, I don't want to be thinking too much about lugging this around. However, out of the box, this rifle is equipped to be able to accept a sling. One thing I noticed was out of the box, the Ruger Precision Rifle is supposed to have a little bit of Picatinny on the bottom of the handguard for a bipod. However, it looks like Logan had to install his own bit of Magpul Picatinny here for his bipod. I'm not sure if that's something that they've updated with a new iteration of the 300 Win Mag Precision Rifle or their Precision Rifle line. However, I did feel that that was worth mentioning. The upper receiver is made of steel and it has one of the most satisfying bolts that I have had the pleasure to manipulate. That, hmm. It is a very smooth operating bolt with a really nice bolt handle there. I always like a bolt that will fall freely when upright. It just makes for very smooth handling. Of course, the upper comes equipped with Picatinny to accept any typical scope. Logan has mounted a Vortex Strike Eagle on his rifle. Moving on to the lower receiver, it is made of aluminum. It accepts five round proprietary magazines. These are made specifically for this rifle. Fun fact, Logan, uh, I'm sorry, but I did learn that you can technically fit six rounds in this magazine. I don't recommend it. The mag release is just a little lever. You push forward and the magazine will slide right out. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy. It comes equipped with an ambidextrous 45 degree AR style safety. And speaking of AR components, the pistol grip is also an AR style 
pistol grip. That means that if you really don't care for the stock pistol grip, you can swap in something like a Magpul, if that's more your, to your fancy. That brings us to the trigger. All of the Ruger Precision Rifles have the Ruger Marksmanship Adjustable Trigger. The trigger pull weight is adjustable anywhere from two and a half to five pounds. This trigger is set to just about three pounds. To operate the trigger, you would just depress the safety blade against the trigger and pull straight through. Other than the blade, there is absolutely no take up in that trigger. It's just immediate. And that is such a light pull. That's honestly a really nice trigger. I wish all Rugers came from the factory like that. I'm looking at you, 1022s. Lastly, you have the buttstock. Now there are some more unique features about the Ruger Precision Rifles buttstock. For one, it can be collapsed down to make it more storable as well as a little more portable. This is also how you would remove the bolt from the rifle. Aside from the folding stock, you also have a fully adjustable length of pull and cheek rest on the rifle. There is adjusting the length of pull and then just leaving this lever open, you can adjust the placement of the cheek rest. You can also adjust the rise of the cheek rest a little bit. And then lastly, there is a little bit of Picatinny on the base of the buttstock so you could put a small monopod back there. But that concludes the rundown of the Ruger Precision 300. Overall, it is a very substantial, significant rifle with some really neat features as far as a precision rifle goes, but it's also not packed with a bunch of gimmicky bells and whistles. As far as operating and firing this gun are concerned, this is a pretty fun rifle to shoot. With how the rifle is designed, with recoil being in a straight line, as well as the massive tank brake on the front, this has very surprisingly low recoil. I guess you can also attribute the lack of recoil to just the sheer immensity of this gun. Did I mention it's 15 pounds? The furthest I was able to stretch this thing's legs was a measly 100 yards. Suffice it to say, once I got the scope dialed in and despite using very relatively cheap 300 Win Mag full metal jacket rounds, I was able to get incredibly tight groupings at 100 yards, even with my little bit of experience on this rifle and with precision rifles in general. I'll take that. Not terrible, I had one flyer, I pulled that one, but not terrible. I have no doubt that this is an exceptional long range weapon. So I guess for final conclusions, if you're looking for a precision rifle and you want something that, in Logan's words, is sexy as hell, I would definitely take a look at the Ruger Precision Rifle line. With all the different calibers, I'm sure they have something that is suited for you. And as far as our experience is concerned, this is a very reliable, fantastic rifle. If you made it to this point in the video, I want to thank you for watching to almost the end. Thank you so much for your support. We have been crushing it with the views and the comments and just the interactions on the channel lately. Thank you so much. I also want to just give a huge shout out to Logan for letting me borrow this for the last couple months. Thank you for letting me borrow this. It'll be back in your hands soon. And I can't wait to have another range day with you very soon. That's gonna do it for this video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider hitting that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to the Phantom Llamas Den and hit the bell icon to get notifications on future content. Go check us out on X, Instagram, and follow us on Twitch where we get rowdy. As always, don't take life too seriously and make it a great day.